Hello, this is Klepla321, and this is a tutorial for PHP MyAdmin and usage and introduction and so forth with MySQL. And this is the second one, and this one's going to be going over how to insert rows and how to order and do uh, do other things with MySQL. So, first of all, of course, you have a table, and if you want to insert, you go to insert. Um, it's an icon and then if you're already selected on the table you can click the insert tab so because I already have in the structure that my ID field is auto increment um, which means that if I add a new one I can leave it blank and it will automatically fill in a new number um, that increments up for every row I put in so I could put in um, Joe and for Joe as the name and I can only and since this is a very care, that means I can have various characters and I only can have 225 of them because I set that number when I made the table. For the text, I could put um, Joe has, or not J, but Joe has a diaper on his head. So I can do that. If I go um, and execute it, it will insert the rows and this is the status right here and right here it has the SQL that it used to perform this action and null means that there's nothing there and in the um, table you'll see that Joe has the idea of three which is automatically filled through the auto increment procedure and um, you can also sort things based on the columns or fields and so if I click on ID it's going to sort the ID ascending if I click on it again it will sort it descending and as you can see the SQL changed only in that section if I sort it based on the name it's going to be apples banana Joe and if I do text it's going to be Joe apples banana but you can also do text and name but um, that's in when you type it in yourself only and not when you click on the UI in the browser. So, first of all, here we have. So now we have these uh, fields here, and let's just say I want to delete the apples. You can delete, click on delete. It will ask you a prompt to say, Do you really want to? And then it will say the SQL statement that is used to delete it. I'm going to say, OK and it's going to delete it and um, now I only have two rows now the reason why it doesn't show the delete thing here is because it was in the prompt beforehand and it needs to reselect in order to show you the uh, things so if you try going to explain SQL um, it's not actually for explaining to uh, to humans it's just kind of explaining um, information about what uh, happened so if you went and did create PHP code this is what you're going to use um, to execute what they've done so that's just kind of uh, how things are working here and uh, the thing about it is that uh, if you've noticed that there's these dots here that uh, means um, this item subsection of this so like it's this table's um, column of text um, uh, supposed to be ordered by ascending and this limit thing here means that it will start at uh, at the at the zeroth row so pretty much the the uh, it'll have the first row but if I put on one it would skip the first row and go on um, but the kind of like an offset in a uh, substring so if I and this 30 right here means to go on for 30 rows kind of like in substring go on for only 30 characters so if I uh, go on I can also um, work with a key and I already have my I think I do anyway yeah I already have my primary set for my ID and what that means is that um, is the key and you cannot have any duplicate keys so I can't have the same ID of one and somebody else 
also have the idea of one. So I'll give you an example of that if I go to browse, I'll see that there's one and three. If I try inserting a three and say uh, toast uh, has beans, just random thoughts in my head, and I go, it's going to give me an error because there's a duplicate key entry uh, of three, and uh, that's what's going on in the ID. So. Uh, just that's kind of why it's useful to use auto increment because it handles it for you and you don't have to really worry about it unless you want to have specific keys um, now of course if I inserted a row with two it'd be perfectly fine it's just that if I try inserting one with another ID that's already taken then it has issues so um, if this drop right here means to completely delete the table this empty means to pretty much shove all the papers off the desk and have a clean slate but you still have the format um, so if I went and exported it it's going to provide me a bunch of options which I'm just going to leave as the default which is SQL I'm going to say none I'm going to go and it's going to provide me the SQL text that I can use to recreate the data that I currently have inside of the database of this table only. You can also do this for um, a database or the entire server. Um, server is not suggested, only databases individually is suggested. Um, and uh, this auto increment equals four, that means that the next one will be four and uh, that's just kind of that. And no auto values on zero. Uh, you don't really have to worry about too much of that. You could just copy this and save and notepad to a .sql file and back it up for later use. Some servers actually allow um, it to automatically back up your stuff. Okay, here's a great example of what an overhead is. Since I deleted one row, I have 32 bytes that are uh, empty because that row apparently consumed 32 bytes. And um, since I did, it was the row in the middle, um, it still has the first row and the third row in the same place digitally so it's taking up that 32 bytes so I can go ahead and uh, do an operation on it which I have to check here and then I have to go with selected and I have to click on optimize and it will optimize the table and then if I go back to my database you can see that the overhead is now gone and that's just kind of what uh, what overhead is that I mentioned in the last tutorial um, in the next few tutorials, I'll show you how to do queries, how to do searching, and so on. Um, and I'll also provide uh, a an export of this current uh, table that I have for you. And but you can recreate it yourself if you want. Uh, that's all. Signing off, Club Three Two One.